OK, Kelly had three times as much money as Andy. After giving Andy £450, Kelly had twice as much money as he did. There's two questions. How much money did Andy have in the end? And two, how much money did Kelly have in the beginning? Now, I will admit this is quite a challenging question, and I would try some of the other video questions first before you attempt this one. Now, I'm always advocating, you know, drawing a picture or a model of the question in order to solve it. But this one is more difficult because I don't know whether to start with the beginning or the end and how to compare the two. So, well, let's have a look. At the beginning, Kelly has three times, I'm going to put three times as much money as Andy. So Kelly has three, Andy has one. OK, so in the beginning, there are four parts to the model. OK, four parts. All right, and if I draw a very small diagram here. OK, imagine that was Kelly. And if this was Andy. OK, that's easy to see that for the three parts that Kelly has, Andy has only one. All right. At the end of the situation, after giving Andy £450, Kelly had twice as much money as he did. OK, so Kelly had two, to Andy having one. That's two. That's three parts altogether. Three parts. Well, OK, but I have four parts here. How can I then turn that into three parts without removing something completely? That just seems very difficult to do. How am I going to do that? Right. Well, let's have a look. What we want to do is to draw a model where I can convert three parts to four parts and back again. And if you think about it, if you know anything about fractions and manipulating fractions, if you think about that, I want to draw a diagram that has... 12 parts in it because a diagram that has 12 parts in it can be subdivided into four or three parts very easily. So let's do that then. We're going to draw a diagram of the beginning situation. Okay. Again, with my terrible drawing. Okay, so this is Kelly. In the beginning, Kelly has three parts, and in the beginning, Andy has one. So, okay. So, can we see Kelly has two, three parts, Andy has one, that corresponds with our four parts. All right, but I need this to be able to work for this bit as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a 12 part model by subdividing each of these each of these four parts by three. Three times four is 12. Okay, so now let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this still corresponds with Kelly has three parts to Andy's one, all right? But I'm going to be able to change it more easily. Now let's see, how many of these parts does Kelly have to give to Andy to match the end situation where Kelly has twice as much as Andy? Okay, so how many things were here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine parts to one, two, three parts. How many parts have to move to here? Well, if I move one part, That's really terrible. OK, if I move one part, imagine I'm going to take that out. OK, that would leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up here and one, two, three, four down here. And that fits, doesn't it? Kelly has twice as much as Andy at the end. So we've now realised that because we know that Kelly gives Andy £450, each one of these must be worth £450. Okay, so £450. 
So this is 450. Okay. Now we know this, we can start to do some calculations to work out how much money Andy had in the end and how much money Kelly had in the beginning. Okay, so how much money did Andy have in the end? Well, in the end, he had these four parts, didn't he? One, two, three, four, including this one. And if we know that each of these is worth 450, then he must have had 450 times four. Okay. So 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 5 is 20, 18 altogether. Okay, so at the end, sorry, at the end, yes, Andy had £1,800. Okay, now let's see, how much money did Kelly have at the beginning? Now at the beginning, she had this part here, which I've shaded. So she had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts, each part being worth 450 pounds. So 450 times nine. Five nines are 45. 4, 9, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, so in the beginning, Kelly had 4,050 pounds.